to Culinary Alchemy. Every time I'm getting ready to record another episode, first thing I have to do is boot my two doodle dogs, Rufus and Yogi, out of the kitchen. Because man, do they love butter and heavy cream. Just the sound of a whisk gets them totally fired up. So today, this one's for them and all those other dogs out there. Crunchy, beefy dog biscuits. For this recipe, the ingredients that you'll need are two cups of all-purpose flour, one cup of whole wheat flour, one cup of yellow cornmeal, a half a cup of non-fat dry milk, and one seven gram package of dry active yeast. You'll also need one and a half cups of beef broth. Reserve two tablespoons for later and take a half cup of the beef broth and place it in a small pot over low heat and warm it till it's just warm to the touch as I've done here. Once it's warm, take your yeast and sprinkle it over the top of the beef broth and set it aside for 10 minutes until it's foamy. In the meantime, preheat your oven to 275 degrees. Then take your dry ingredients and place them in a large bowl and just stir them with a wooden spoon until they're well combined. Ten minutes are up and the yeast is nice and foamy. So we're going to add our one cup of stock to our activated yeast mixture and then pour the yeast mixture into our dry mixture and stir it until it's fully incorporated. So you can use your hands to incorporate the last bits of flour or even uh, more than the last bits because it gets a little tricky um, using the, the uh, spoon because the dough is really quite stiff. But once you have it fully incorporated, turn it out onto a fully floured um, work surface and knead it for about five minutes. Are you feeling the burn in your forearms? Five minutes seems like a lot of time but I bet your dogs are worth it. So once your dough is kneaded, put it on your work surface and cut it into four equal portions. Set three of them aside and working with one at a time, we're gonna roll it out till it's uh, one quarter inch thick. And you wanna reflower your surface so that the dough doesn't stick. This is a pretty dry dough, so I don't think it'll stick too badly, but just make sure there's a little bit of flour on the surface. Rolling out this dough requires a little bit of elbow grease too, but hey, who doesn't need a good workout? So once you've got your dough to about a quarter of an inch thickness, it's ready to be cut into shapes. You can freeform it if you like, but seeing as the holidays are just around the corner, I've decided to make some fun festive shapes. I've got a reindeer cutter, a bone cutter, and a little gingerbread man. So I'm going to cut out the dough with my different um, cutters. And when I have all the biscuits cut from all four pieces of dough, I'm going to re-roll all the scraps and make one more ball and roll it out again. So that one didn't cut quite, so we'll just push down a little bit harder here. When you have all of your biscuits cut, place them on an ungreased uh, cookie sheet. So now all of our biscuits are cut out and ready to go in the oven. Makes quite a few as you can see, and they're pretty darn sturdy, so you don't have to uh, be too ginger with them. 
Um, before they go into the oven, we need to uh, baste them with an egg wash. So I've taken one egg and I've mixed it here with the two remaining tablespoons of beef broth. Then I'm just going to grab a uh, pastry brush and we're going to brush the tops of all of the cookies. And then once they're all brushed, we're going to put them in the oven and let them bake for about 25 minutes. After 25 minutes goes by, um, we'll flip them over and then um, you'll want to uh, just brush the uh, undersides of the cookies and then put them back in the oven and let them bake for another 25 minutes. Twenty-five minutes are up and I'm ready to flip the biscuits over and egg wash the up, um, underside of each one. By the way, these biscuits are fully human grade, so if your husband is looking for a snack to go with his beer and he doesn't have any uh, beer nuts kicking around, just toss him a bone. Once they're fully uh, brushed, um, put, pop them back in the oven again for twenty-five minutes more to cook. Another 25 minutes has gone by, so now it's time to turn your oven off and brush the biscuits one more time with the egg wash. Once they're all brushed, place them back in your oven overnight to dry out. Yes, those poor dogs will be waiting for an entire night, but they have so much to look forward to in the morning. You know, it seems like it took a bit of time to make these uh, biscuits, but um, I know that my dogs are well worth it, aren't you guys? And what's more, I don't have to pay for a college education. And we have a full batch of them to serve up to them in the morning. So unless you have a huge herd, it should last them a while and you a while too. In the meantime, Rufus, you'll be come. They've been so patient during this episode that I decided to scramble up the remainder of the egg wash and beef uh, broth mixture and give them a little pre-treat. Rufus, sit. Good boy, Yogi, sit. Good boys. Give me five. Good boy, give me ten. Give me five. Rufus gets a treat. Yogi, give me five. Good boy, give me ten. Good boy. There you go, guys. Enjoy it till tomorrow. Morning has arrived and it's time to check the dog biscuits. Looks like they're hard and dry, but let's call Rufus and Yogi for the real test. Rufus, Yogi, come. Good dogs. Ready for a treat? Sit. Gentle. Gentle. Oh, yeah. I think you approve. Is there anything you want to say to your pals, guys? No? You want me to tell them? Rufus and Yogi said that the scrambled eggs they had last night were pretty darn good, but these are the real deal. So to all of man's best friends, tell your owners to get cracking and whip you up a de super deluxe batch of these crunchy, beefy biscuits today. See you next time.